Hey guys, this is Diana and in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to create this video. We are going to learn how to add movement, how to add animations, how to add music and we are going to do everything for free in Canva. So if you are interested in this tutorial, stay until the end and let's go to my computer. Okay, so here we are on my computer and for today's tutorial, I'm going to be using a Canva free account. So anyone with a Canva free account or a Canva Pro account can follow this tutorial because we are going to be using only free features and free elements. So let's start. For this tutorial, we are going to be using a video template. So let's go here on the banner where it says video and you have here different sizes for your design. So in this case, I am going to be using the first option that says 1920 by 1080 because I want to create a horizontal video, right? But if you want to create a video for social media like Facebook or Instagram you can use this one the one that says Facebook video because this one is a squared format you see 1080 by 1080 and so on so I can use either this one or this one so any of the formats that says 1920 by 1080 you can also actually create your own custom size design or video so on this upper right corner you will see custom size or you can also select this button but let's say uh, custom size let's select this one you can add your width or height you can either select pixels inches uh, millimeters or centimeters so yeah these are the first options that you can choose to start creating your video so let's go for the first one and now I want to show you that in Canva they have a bunch of different templates that you can either select from this section so this is already the canva editor and we have a tab called templates so we have a bunch of different free templates here so we will have some free and some available for canva pro but if you don't see the crown I guess you are free to go. You will see also some of them have the free label. That means that you can use them for free. So this is a way to find templates, but let's go again to the homepage because you can actually use this search box and type video. You will see some suggestions here. So the first one is 1920 by 1080. Let's select that one. And you will have this page with a bunch of different templates. So I guess it might be easier for you just to scroll down. I guess this is easier to visualize all the templates rather than if you see them here on the editor. So for the video that you saw at the beginning of this tutorial, I'm going to open the birthday, birthday. <laughs> So we are going to be using a template that is inside the birthday video category. So let's click here on see all. You can actually click on the see all of each of these categories and start discovering some other templates available in Canva. So let's go to see all and then you can scroll down and find whatever that uh, fits well with your brand or with the message that you want to deliver and in this example or for this video i'm going to be selecting this template so with one click you are going to go inside that template selection let's say so here we actually have eight different layouts for this specific video so i'm just going to select one of the slides you can actually select different slices so you will have different scenes on your video. So let's say that I added page number one, I'm going to add another page. Let's select this one and let's select a third page. So I'm just doing this to show you that you can have different scenes in your video. I'm going to preview this video exactly as it is. So for this, in order for you to preview the video, you are going to use the navigation bar on top and click on this video that has the play button. So let's click on it. And then you will be able to preview how this video is going to end up looking. So this one has already some movement 
and already a video inserted into the video. So this is already pretty cool and I'm going to go out of this preview page and actually I'm going to delete the other two scenes. So let's click on the three dots and delete and here again on this the second page delete so like this i'm going to end up with just one page okay so let's start designing i'm going to delete this video because i am going to insert my own video into this animation or this animated video so next what i want to do is to insert a phone frame so i can actually insert my video inside the phone and we have something more interesting in our design so let's go to the elements category let's open it and we're going to search for phone frame and here we have three different options i'm going to go for the first one because this one has a black frame and that's okay with my design i'm going to tilt the phone just slightly so we have something kind of like a playful vibe in my design and now how do i add a video to canva so on this menu on the left hand side we have the uploads section and here we can upload our own images our videos and our audio audio is the most recent feature in canva and we are also going to play with it in this tutorial so we are just going to click on upload media and we are going to search for our file in our folders in our computer so let's click here and then i'm going to select device so let's go here and here i have my video so let's open so my video is finally uploaded to canva and i'm just going to drag the video inside the phone that is in my design so like this and i already have my video in my design so now what i can do to add something even more interesting to my design i think it's already looking very cool is that we can actually add movement to our design so maybe you only have a static design you don't have any videos to insert into your animation so what you would like to do is to click on this button at the moment my design already has a movement applied so that's why it's says rise but if you haven't added any animation or any movement to your design it's going to look like this it says animate so click on it and then you will be able to select any of these animations or movements to your design so i think this is pretty cool so we have five different animations that are completely free and then we have five other animations that are available for canva pro users and i really actually love the pro animations you can actually see a preview of how they are going to look on your video or your design but for today's video i'm going to be using my canva free account because i just want to show you that you can do and create so many cool things with canva for free so yeah i'm just going to select one of the free options let's go for the rise option and now i'm going to add something to make our video even more interesting and unique so let's go to the videos category because in canva we cannot only upload our own videos but we can use the videos available in the canvas library so we have a bunch of free videos you can check the label here that says free but also they have a lot of premium videos so for this specific design i'm going to type gradient in the search box and you see here most of the options will have the crown that means that these videos will be available for Canva Pro users. But if you <laughs> scroll down a lot, you will find some free options. So you see there is this free gradient. So this is the option, the free gradient that I really like. And I'm just going to drag and drop until the background kind of like sucks the video <laughs> into the background. And that's it. So you see 
we have an extra animation or something happening in the background of the video which adds something interesting to the video so next step is to add some animation if you want you can leave your background as a plain color and then add some animations you can do either or both in this case i just want to show you everything so that's why i'm going to drop everything into this video and try to make something nice so i already opened the elements category and we're going to find some really nice stickers or animations that we can add to the video so we are going to type on the search box basic shape loop and hit enter so here we have a bunch of different animations that can add something nice to our video and if you pay attention they have the free label so we can use them for free without having to pay and now that i think about it i'm going to recommend you guys a video right here another tutorial that you can watch after finishing this one in which i give you 10 specific keywords so you can find really amazing and trendy animated elements so you can create amazing videos this is one of the elements that i mentioned in that video i'm sure that if you like these elements you are going to love that video that I mentioned. So let's continue here. I'm going to add just a couple of elements. I'm just clicking on the ones that I find interesting and I'm just adjusting the size of the elements and position them on my video. So let's add them here. Okay, so I just played around with a couple of elements and then I guess I'm going to delete this element the start element because i already added an animated star and i don't want to overcrowd my design i don't know if that is actually a word but i guess you will understand <laughs> okay so what is next i'm going to add some text i was scrolling down in the same search results for basic shape loop i had to scroll really down below i found this irregular shape that i really liked and i'm going to add it to my design and now i'm just going to play around with the text i'm going to write free i'm going to change the size of this text box i'm going to add it on top of this shape and then let's delete these two guys here delete group i'm going to duplicate this text box by using the duplicate button and now i'm just going to type the text that i want to have on my video and if you guys want you can change the font right here you can change the size the color if you want it to be bold or underlined or if you want to use the upper case feature you have a bunch of different options here to play around with your text or your font so i'll be back in a second okay so here we are so yes i think we are almost there and i was thinking about that if you are interested in learning how to create these kind of videos with animations and everything but from your phone so with the canva app i already have another tutorial that you may be interested in watching so i'm just going to leave it up here and let's go to the final part of this tutorial which is how to add music to our videos so for this we can actually do two different things the first one is to use canvas audio library so we are going to open the audio category and here again we have some pro songs or tracks and then we have some free options so i'm going to go for a happy song you see we have uh, different suggestions right here and then let's filter this by free and i guess i'm going to select the river meditation i think this one 
I'm okay with this track. And here we have this toolbar in which we can actually select the section of the song that we want to insert into the video. So you can either go for the beginning of the song or a section of the track in the middle of the song or the end of the song, whatever that you prefer. So this is with Canvas Audio Library. But if you remember, I showed you at the beginning of the tutorial that we can actually upload our own audio to Canva as well. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I have here on my uploads in the audio tab one of the songs, shout out to Kia, one of our friends, he made this track. And yeah, I also want to mention something very important here. At the bottom of the screen, we see this tiny message that says, by uploading, you confirm that your content and complies with our terms of use and does not infringe any third party rights. That means that you will have the rights to everything that you are uploading to Canva. So make sure that you have the rights to use this media. So yeah, I already have the rights to use this song that I have here. So I'm just going to click on it. And then I have Kia's song here on my video and I'm going to select one of the sections that I like. So I guess this is fine. And something else that I would suggest you do is to play with the volume of your song because maybe your song will be too loud and if you are speaking here on your video, it might be like the two audios at the same volume and it will be difficult for people to hear what you are saying so I will suggest to lower your song or your track volume and then we can preview how this video is looking so again let's go to the navigation bar on top and click on the preview or the play button Okay, so I guess this is looking fine and by chance, I guess my video is starting at the perfect moment. So I started recording and everything was perfect and I don't need to crop anything out. I guess maybe a section at the end of the video. So if maybe you were filming yourself and you did a mistake at the beginning, you can crop that section out or you can trim your video. So when you click on your video, you will have here on the toolbar some different settings or different tools. And let's go to the one that has the scissors. I'm just going to open it. And I can actually crop or trim the section at the beginning when I'm like breathing like, hey guys. So I guess that is not necessary. I'm just trimming a tiny section. Let's see. Hey. <laughs> so I guess it's just like half a second. And then at the end, you see I'm clicking almost at the end and there is a white line here, almost at the end of the video. So let's preview the end. So yeah, I guess I can also trim this end section of the video and hit done. I guess we are almost there. Let's just preview one more time. Yes, I think this is good. If I want to play again with the song, I'm going to click on it so I can access the settings here. And I guess I'm just going to lower the, the volume a tiny bit more so we can hear my voice clearly. Yes, this is perfect. And now, how do we download our videos from Canva? So on the navigation bar, you will see this button. This one automatically is recognizing this design as a video. So it is suggesting right away to download a video file type. So we can go ahead and click on download or if you are not going to be using this design as a mp4 file type you can actually select the gif or gif option <laughs> i would like to hear your ideas or what do you think about these two pronunciations which one is right gif 
or GIF. I know that many people don't know how to pronounce this and I don't know, this is very difficult for me. <laughs> so let's click here and if you select the GIF option, you will see it says short clip and it doesn't have sound. So yeah, you have the two different options and the two of them are free. It depends on what you are going to be doing with this design. In my case, I'm going to download the MP4 and I'll see you when I have my file ready. Okay, so my video is ready and it's already downloaded into my computer. I want you to pay attention to all the animations and it doesn't have any watermark. So that's pretty great. I didn't pay anything. So let's check it out. Hey guys, this is Diana and in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to create this video. We're going to learn how to add movement. To okay, so that's the video and let's go until the end of the video so you see that there is no watermark no, at the end good. that's great because there are some applications and some platforms that maybe they don't add the watermark on top of the video but they add it at the end so yeah canva is amazing <laughs> And I would like to know what do you guys think about this tutorial? Did you like it? Did you learn something new? If that is the case, just leave it a thumbs up so I know that you find it valuable. And if you think that a friend of yours or a family member can benefit from this information, just share the video. And next week, I'm going to teach you guys how to create a countdown animated timer. Somebody in the comments left this suggestion and I really liked it. So that's why I'm going to create a tutorial tutorial about this. If you are not subscribed and you would like to see this tutorial, just subscribe and hit the bell button so you get a notification when this video is up. Meanwhile, if you want to keep learning about Canva, I'm going to leave you guys two tutorials right here that I think are going to be super helpful. And also I'm going to leave a link here so you can learn how to get 10 of our courses for free. This is the Rondi Bootcamp and I think this is also very valuable if you want to learn more about Canva. I guess this is everything for today and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Have a good day. Bye!